Okay, and that's it. So you have your fully mounted Movi Pro, Day Night Digi Converters, Red Raven, Connex Mini, and you're ready to roll. I'm just going to explain how we're connected with the Fizz Control and the Second Op, and how we're getting all our setting controls and our picture as well. So this is all going through the red, so you're getting access to iris, zoom, focus, all that cool stuff through the Mimic. And we're going to actually link up our fizz control and our focus knob. Red's powered up, so let's go into what's going on inside the vehicle. Alright, so I made this sweet setup with the Connex Mini and Inferno um, for Dreyfus monitor and for second op. Um, it's powered through a course fix brick. Um, you have a suction as well that goes in the windshield. And you got a nice little arm for adjustment, so we're going to mount this to the windshield real quick. Okay, and plug everything in here. Mount it. So we're going to power up the Inferno. So that's going to power up the Connex Mini as well. Now we're going to power up our Mimic as is. Push the button and it'll power up. And we're connected with the PS4 controller right here, which gives us access to all the settings and for camera control. So since we're getting feed now, usually sometimes the feed will go out because the red control is plugged in. So you actually have to unplug it when you're first boot up, and now we're going to go plug it in, and then we're going to do all our settings real quick. Plug this guy back in. Okay, cool. Just like that. And go back over here. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to do our fizz control. We have our fizz or actual knob plugged in right here into the port to the COM2 port. Okay, so now we're going to calibrate our Fizz main. Um, we don't want to turn on gamepad mode yet because nothing's set up, but all our control is there now, which is pretty sweet. So once we plugged in that cable, all our controls are here. We can have record, go through our settings and toggle through and do what we need to do. So we're going to go back. We're going to do um, calibrate, okay? So we're going to do the knob first before the Fizz. So we're going to rotate it counterclockwise, hit set, and rotate it clockwise all the way, and then hit set. Knob calibration complete. So now we can go back and go to calibrate fizz. So it's going to take a minute to calibrate the fizz. Now this is giving us access to focus, iris, or zoom. Okay, so now if we go to toggle and just go and focus, and let it hang there, we have focus control. Okay, so if you can actually see it on my screen right now. We're getting focus control. But now, if we're gonna turn on gamepad mode now, okay, you have to make sure to toggle this off because you're gonna get focus through here on the triggers or whatever you wanna program it to. Okay, so we're gonna hit off, leave it open like that, and we're gonna scroll over to gamepad mode. So we're gonna hit turn on, okay? You can adjust all your settings right here. You have roll, zoom, you know, you have dual majestic mode. You can kill the motors as well. So now we're going to get focus control. This is just for focus, okay? So now we're going to actually toggle through here. We're going to hit this button, which is pretty cool. It actually changes it. I don't know if you can see that. You do focus, iris, zoom, or defer. So we're going to hit the focus, okay? So I'm actually pulling focus going in and out with this joystick, which is pretty sweet. So we got control, full access, we got picture, we got record, all that cool stuff. Alright guys, I just want to say thanks for watching. Um, I just know no one talks about how to link up your PS4 controller, how to operate Mimic and with the knob, all this crazy stuff. So I just want to show you how I would do it and you know how easy it is to set up and how convenient it is too. I mean, usually you have to have a Fatabo, all this crazy stuff. Also guys, don't forget to check out my company, Full Sense Pro on social media, and stay tuned for more content. And this is Border Collie approved. So, hey, man. So, I wonder if the Pro AMR isolator arm can hold that one.